Hey guys, today was quite an uneventful day at school, but it should get better. So, at school, I just did the normal stuff. I had one lesson, then I did some computer science revision. You know, the normal studying any good student is supposed to be doing. But I'm on my way home. What I did when I was at school was look for the schematic of the first Arduino product project I wanted to make uh, on their website, and then I emailed it to myself, printed it out, and I've got that schematic now. Now, I'm getting very ahead of myself, so that's not, we're not gonna be building the actual product today. I just got that ready. What we're gonna do is start setting up the Arduino. So, that's what happened today. That's the plan for today. And let's actually do what we're supposed to do today. Okay, so what we wanna do now is get your Arduino. If you haven't opened it already, just go ahead and open it. It is a lot smaller than I was expecting. I mentioned that yesterday, but still, it is extremely small. And it doesn't even encompass the whole board. That is the Arduino Maker 1000 board. And then you've just got a thank you for supporting us label over there. Okay, so we can put that stuff to the side and take our Arduino off its support packaging. So we'll put that there for now. And then you'll get your power cable that you're going to need to connect to your computer. Uh, standard micro USB cable, if I'm not mistaken, that you connect to your Arduino. So the next thing you want to do is get your computer or a laptop of choice. So you'll get your laptop. Then you'll get the Arduino itself. You'll get the power cable. And then you'll place the cable in the appropriate place and you can tell it's on because of the green light flashing okay there are two links you can use to get your information on what you need to do with your Arduino now Arduino's official website has their own link which I'll put in the description below right now and um, this is if you've got Windows specifically so some things are specifically catered to Windows, so you can't necessarily do this part if you've got a Mac. Luckily, there's another link. This link uh, specifically caters to people with Mac. And I've got a Mac, so I'm going to show you how to do these instructions. I've already done this, but I'm going to take you through step by step. So you go to the Arduino Downloads page, and you open it in the new tab, and you download the Arduino I IDE. So you do that, and you'll go to where it says Mac OS X. Now I've already got a file and I'm going to click just download just to have a duplicate and then that will download. Okay, once it's downloaded you unzip it and as I said I downloaded before hence why it's got the brackets but for you it shouldn't say that. And here it comes. It's so from the downloads folder you can just drag it to the applications folder but I've already done that so I do not want a duplicate. Now here you can see your next step is to plug the Arduino in. We've already done that, hence why it's on. But this is a very important part. So this is still relevant even if you've plugged it in already. You want to go to System Preferences. So let me start from scratch. You open your System Preferences, you go to Network. And then you go to your Arduino. And then you will click Apply. Now I've already clicked Apply, so that's fine. And it says Not Configured, but that should be fine. Even though it says not configured, your Arduino will work, so don't worry about that. And then you can just click apply and close. Okay, now to launch the Arduino application, you can just uh, search for Arduino. And here it is. This is the home screen that you'll be using to do all your sketches. But that's not the final part of this video. What we do want to do is drag it to the dock, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to do that now. And you can close this tab and this tab and go straight to Arduino's official one to go to their tutorial. What you want to do is make sure you've got the correct port and drivers. So to choose your board type you'll follow these instructions and to choose your port you'll do Arduino Genuino Uno. So I'm going to do that right now. We open Arduino, let me make this full tab. So we'll go to Arduino, uh, Tools, Board, you'd select what it is and if you've got the same kit as me or the same board you'll choose Arduino Genuino Maker 1000 and then your port which is very important because I messed up with this 
you do your one that says Arduino on it, not Bluetooth or any other ports, the one that says Arduino on it. And then that should be fine. Now there's one way to test that your Arduino is working as it should be. Uh, first of all, the green light that comes on uh, when your Arduino is plugged in, which we saw earlier. And then secondly, if you want to do a test sketch, you can go to File, Examples, 01 Basics, Blink. Now, what this is going to do, as it says in the comment, turns an LED on for one second, then off for one second repeatedly. And here's the code, we don't need to do anything, it comes by default. So what you want to do is verify. And it says compiling sketch done compiling at the bottom. Tells you how much uh, memory it's using and your maximum storage space, ETC. And then here in the top left, we click upload. And at the bottom, you can see what's going on. Okay, so it is done in 0 0.009 seconds. CPU reset. All this miscellaneous information. Can we expand this? Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. So here you can see all the information. So let me open up my camera and show you guys. Here it is. We have the Arduino switch running. One second on, one second off. And as you can see, that's the computer screen where I'm recording this from. And that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. There's nothing left to do with the Arduino with regards to setup. So what we've done in this video is um, set the board up by actually plugging it in, which is the most important part. We got our test program running and that confirms that our Arduino is working as it should be and can take programs as a command. Now, the next step is going to be actually building something with this. Now, we could start right off with the project, but I'm kind of in two minds about whether I should start with basic things like putting an LED, putting an LED and a resistor, that kind of thing, or going straight into the project. I'll decide that for the next video, but either way, you're definitely going to get something interesting with this project. So if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Go to the description to see my Instagram and Facebook group where I post a lot of photos and articles and stuff like that to do with my Arduino project. So until next time. Bye.